Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is headlines not creating headwinds. Uh, we chose that topic because on these vlogs, we are trying to provide insight and information uh, besides what you're hearing in the, the regular news, you know, on the internet, uh, to let you know what's going on behind the scenes and how it can impact your portfolio. That's very important to us. There's a lot of noise and how do you make sense of it? So on that, Bobby, uh, you started us off with some really uh, good news today. So you want to share that with folks watching? Yeah, so Friday was a great day for the market. So Friday, the trade tariffs were enacted, uh, but the market was actually up on a great jobs right. number. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 213,000 jobs were created last month. Yeah. The unemployment rate actually ticked up to 4%, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. Right. More than 600,000 Americans came back into the workforce that is great for a mature business cycle. Mm -hmm. right. That is showing that people are confident in the economy. And so this week, uh, we have earnings season kicks, kicks into gear. Uh, so as long as the, the domestic economy remains strong, earnings continue to come in very good, that, w that should outweigh any trade. You know, one yeah. of the things we're watching with the, wage, with, the, uh, with the jobs number is that wages don't seem to be rising at the rate we would expect. Like you said, 600,000 people came back to the job, job market. That's fantastic. But for some reason, this low unemployment, we, we typically want to see wages go up. And we've only seen uh, year over year 2.7% increase in wages. That sounds good. Yeah, people are making more money. But that's about in line with where costs are going up. So if wages can't increase faster than costs, then that kind of limits the next leg of this economy. If people are making more money, uh, they're spending more money, and that's, that's, that's where we kind of get this next leg. So we're watching that closely to see if we can get, as, as unemployment's dropping, are we going to see that go into uh, employees' pockets? And that's you know it's been kind of it's been kind of dogged. Economists not really sure why that is. Right. Well, it's historic times as mm -hmm. we look at the dynamics of technology and how it impacts. But you know we're thrilled to hear that people are uh, getting jobs. Confidence is confidence is, yeah. is definitely there. Oh but, yeah, yeah, that's the confidence. Yeah, the, the, but, but those you're headlines. making a good point. Why we need to keep an eye on mm -hmm. that data. Mm -hmm. That's very Im important. And yeah. then. Ashley, you, you brought in some data in regards to uh, lending and, and banks, so talk about that a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Uh, year over year, bank growth is phenomenal in the second quarter. It's up 5.5% year over year. That's Federal Reserve data at the end of, end of June, basically. Mm -hmm. They've got to look at it and smooth it out, but that's pretty much right, as opposed to the end of 2017, where it's 1%. What that shows is two things. You've got small banks and mostly mid-sized banks lending to like the Bobby Norman tool and die, you know, a smaller type company, that level of growth, they're buying equipment, which means that the depreciation part of the tax reform is kicking in. People are going to their accountants and saying, yes, probably a good time to do it. And the other thing that's kind of unusual, but also good is that using the line of credit to acquire the people. Both ways, that means owner-managed business owners in the, are really confident if they're doing both of those. Which is fascinating because most of the media, and I think in, in the things that we read, are focused on those big multinational companies. Exactly right. How are they yeah. spending the tax cuts? How are they spending their cash? They're buying back shares, not investing. People aren't really watching those kind of below the, below the headlines companies, and that's really where the growth should it's come where the from. hiring Yeah, well, as I, as I like to say, every big business used to be a small business. That's right. Yeah, and, that's right. If, and if they can't grow, mm -hmm. they can't become the big business, yeah. and, and that big business hires more people, mm -hmm. creates, mm -hmm. creates more jobs. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we've got a lot of positive news that we're looking at. Uh, we know there's a lot of noise out there, a lot of headwinds, but uh, we think this information we've provided you gives you some insight uh, that the economy is uh, moving strong, and, and that's a reflection within the uh, stock market and bond market as well. So have a great week. Continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And we also appreciate your comments and also uh, the way you forwarded this to other colleagues and friends and neighbors. Uh, we greatly appreciate that as well. Talk to you soon.